So for middle and low income countries, for, for them to be able to make risk transfer decision, they need to have um, a mechanism of being to quantify their risks. And for them to be able to make this risk assessment, they need risk modeling to be available to them. So for that, this, the risk modeling is the basis for them to make an informed decision about their investments. The investment may be land planning, it could be flood defenses, it could be the decision to have develop a risk transfer program, which in itself is a financial decision because it incurs financial costs. But at the end of the day, what they do also need to realize is that by making an ex-ante investment decision, they actually in the end will be able to minimize their costs. Because if you don't have any of the investments available, or if you haven't made any, um, um, any arrangements for your financial losses that you incur, it could end up being much more costly um, in the long run. So that's why having risk model enables not only the quantification of risk, but also a risk awareness of between among the the stakeholders that are involved about what exposure you have as well. So I think the panel converged on primarily two issues. I think one of the issues is communication issues and the communication is primarily in terms of so you have um, which is also in the other panels came out as well, um, you have the scientific community, you have the risk models, and you have the industry, and then you have the civil servants that are engaged in the countries, and then you have the politicians. And so you all have terminology, jargon that you use, and so it may not be very obvious exactly what you are talking about when you are trying to um, whether it's being selling or sort of encouraging a risk transfer program. So having a same language not meaning whatever language that's being spoken, but having the same method and terminology that you're speaking would encourage and actually better make better risk understanding among these various stakeholders so that we're all on the same page when you do that. And I think that's a very important point that emerged. I think the other point was that um, making smart investment decisions that will actually in the long term mitigate um, your risks is a very important part of, um, uh, of this uh, risk modeling discussion as well. A third point, which I'm just going to add after on, I think is the politicians. So there were some conversions about, um, at the end of the day, you have to look at the, the time horizons that politicians have to their next election as well. So to do that, you have to be able to develop models and products that adhere to this approximately three to five year time frame. And unless you can do that, there's no way that a politician is going to make a decision to invest in a risk transfer program, which is intangible, as opposed to a flood defense, which you can actually stand next to and take a picture. And so therefore, doing certain sort of, sort of due diligence in this respect will probably encourage politicians to be able to make a better decision in this area as well. Mm -hmm.